Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm going to do a spoiler review for Avengers Endgame. Since the spoiler ban is lifted, so I just thought I would do it today. And let's get started. Okay, the first, uh, the start of the movie, you see Clint's family having a uh, picnic outside outside of their house and you see Clint teaching his daughter um, to sh to shoot an arrow and that that has a hint that sh his daughter is going to be the next Hawkeye in the future and you see his boys uh, tossing uh, playing uh, catching baseball and Laura his his wife and um, basically they're having a great time and then once uh, Clint told her to pick up the arrow uh, she's she's the first one that got dusted so this one is this one takes just is this one takes place after what Avengers Infinity War left off and she got dusted then his his two sons got dusted, then his wife Laura got dusted, and now he's now he's like in panic mode. He's trying. He was he, he was trying to call him, and because he didn't he didn't he didn't see them, and he was in panic mode, and that leads into the Marvel Studios logo, which they pick a good music for that. Uh, Marvel Studios logo intro. Then it takes. Then we go to space where Tony and Nebula is on the Benatar, and they're playing paper football, just because they because really they have nothing to do but we they can play paper football, and then uh, then Tony, later in the scene Tony does a video recording message to Pepper Potts. Um, that we saw in the trailers as well. Um, just telling, telling her that um, we haven't have we've been in space for twenty two days now. And we don't have any oxygen or food since the door took the food. And if any, or they don't have any food. Well, they kind of did have food. It was like a one bag of snack, I guess. And telling her, telling her that um, I might not make it back home, and and then he goes, he decides it, he decides to go sleep, and that's when um, we see Captain Marvel saving, rescuing them, and that that's when Cap, that's when um, we get to see the first time of Captain America. In the in the basically bathroom shaving, and then he realized that he he his mirror is shaking and he realized something's coming, and that but they uh, he doesn't know who it is at first, and you see Captain Marvel basically holding the sh he's, she's basically carrying the ship from space to Earth because she's the strongest strongest superhero in the MCU and then you get the nice um and uh re reuniting with Cap and Pepper as well then you get a nice small scene of Rocket and Nebula just holding hands because all most of their families are dusted like Star-Lord, Gamora and Drax and Groot then that takes to Tony and Cap arguing. So Tony and Steve is arguing about um, about we lost, um, he lost, and you weren't there. But Cap said we all we lost. We I mean the whole team lost. And then they start they start arguing. That he, Tony's like, go. Go get Thanos and give his arc reactor to, to him. And then, when you see like the 
peep the the peep the people that's on the screen that are, got dusted. You see, um, Carol Carol Danvers looking at the picture of Nick Fury, and she was crying. And then Carol said, um, "I'm going to find Thanos and kill him." And then Black Widow said, uh, "We we work." together as a team and Steve said we know that that's your territory because space is her her territory where she does all her stuff so they decided to go to they 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 made a plan and they decided to go to Thanos who was at the who is now at the garden I guess they they call it Titan Two. Uh, they're um, uh, up to the plan that he was standing standing staying at, and after at the end of Finny War, and so it was so they they wound up there they basically you we you know that they they actually they rode the Benatar. It was Nebula. Rocket, Thor, Cap, Captain Marvel, and War Machine going to fight Thanos. And then Thanos, then uh, Captain, Mar Captain Marvel w took a look into the, uh, and she said that it was just only him. And Nebula said, that's all we need. And they start ambushing. Basically, before they ambush, then we see Thanos just walking around, just like a regular person, and grabbing fruits, and going back to his cottage. And then, then that's when the ambush happened. You see, it was like a jump, kind of like a jump surprise or something like. When I when I saw the when I saw the screen, it was like a jump. I jumped. Because I didn't see that coming, and you see Captain Marvel just flying in and like knocking him down, and like then like um, she was uh, grabbing like basically like um, putting his, her arm around his neck and like put stretch out his hands his. The hand that has the the arm that has the gauntlet, and then you see Hulkbuster and War Machine holding his hand, and then you see Thor coming in and chopping his arm off with where the gauntlet on the side where the gauntlet was, and then Thanos Thanos told him that uh, he used the stone to destroy the stone, but Bruce think he's lying. And and Nebula said he never lies. And bef before that, you s Captain America and Black Widow asked, "Where where are the stones?" And then he explains why just so just a while ago. And then Dano said, "Thank you, daughter." And then that's when Thor just chopped his head off immediately. And after that, he, Thor just walked away, and then Rocket said, well, before that, Rocket said, what did you do? And Thor said, I, I, I went for the head, and he walks away after that. And then you, then it's five, then it was five years into the future, five years later, you, you, you get a scene of Cap and Cap. Uh, Steve Rogers having a service like a like a one of those group group things group meetings and you see we have a cameo of Joe Russo who was the one of the directors of In Game and the directors of In Game and Infinity War and he's he's um, he is the first gay character 
in the MCU. Not gay hero, but gay character in the MCU. And then he was talking, and they had that conversation. And then you get to... The next scene is Scott comes out of the quantum realm. So how this... how The way it happened was the van... Lu, the van that Luis owns is in the storage and then this rack is, the this rat is just crawling around and he it, it accidentally hit a button that makes the that that opened the quantum realm and it can it will and release um, Scott Lane out into the world and and then you see a Kim Jong, uh, Kim Jong cameo uh, in that scene as well. He was a like a guard, security guard thing. And then, um, then Scott walks into walks basically walks around in on this in the around this in the street. And he asks his boy, uh, what happened here? And he just stares at, he just looks back and just w dr drove the uh, ride away with his bike. And then Scott goes into, Scott visits the, the Vanish, the, moment, the monument of the Vanish, where all the people that vanish in Infinity War is on the monument. And then... He was looking to see if Cassie Lane was on the list, but he then he he sees his own name on the uh, monument. As then he was like, he was like, that can't be. I'm still I'm here. And then he, cause he he went to he went to his old house his his house, cause he wasn't sure if Cassie would know would know him. Five years later, because they haven't, um, he hasn't seen his his daughter yet in five years, and his his daughter is now a teenager. He know, she's gotten older now, and they get this moment together. And it was a nice, it was an emotional moment, and then, um, then we see, um. Natasha talking to. You get to see him, Natasha talking to Okoye, Nebula, and Rock, Rocket, Captain Marvel, and Rhodey. Because, and then, it was a nice moment. That was one of the, one of the powerful moments for Natasha, in this in that in this movie. Um, Natasha was talking to Okoye, and Okoye, and they were discussing what's going on in Wakanda, and because this. Okoye said there was something going on in the ocean, and then she was like, "We fix it with not, with not fixing it because it's it's under the under the it's below. There's an earthquake below the under the ocean, and where they can't like really do anything. Nebula and Rocket still they went somewhere. Captain Marvel is back in space at her at back in space." She has a new haircut, which I like in this movie. She like I like that hairstyle. Then Rhodey is in Mexico right now because um, because he was he's investigating all these death and death of people in Mexico and who was trying who was doing it, and then then they realized um, Rhodey said it was. Uh, Barton, it was Clint, and then Natasha told him to go find him. But Riley said, uh, "I don't want to find him because he's he was he's doing this stuff, and I'm scared that he he might he was, he's worried that he's gonna get killed as well." But he Natasha told told him to do it, please. And she asks him, she asks Rudy, what's the, lo what's the, tell me, the, can you give me the location where he's going next? And 
then she was then she you see her crying you get emotional because you know clay and Nat natasha their bond is like like connected together their 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 relationship as friends is and avengers avengers partner they're solid then we see um then you get the nat and cap conversation and Steve was trying to trying to see talk uh, make her see see the bright side of the outcome and maybe we shouldn't do this maybe we should uh, like let go but she he was like um, she he was like we don't move on because the other 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 people can. Yeah, you because know, she he was he was trying to make Natasha look at the bright side, and then we get to see a video of Scott at the it looks like at Scott at the Avengers HQ, which Steve and Natasha was surprised that he was alive, because um, they haven't they haven't seen Scott in since Civil War, so uh, that's been that's been. So the Civil War was in 2015, 15 or so, or 16. That's pretty, that's quite a few years since the last time they saw it. And then Scott Lane was talking about uh, the quantum realm, how the quantum realm time, he's been in the quantum, inside the quantum realm for five hours, but in real time, real life is there are five years. Natasha was like, I'm sorry that you've been inside there for a long time, for a long five years. But he was like, no, it's five, five hours. For the quantum realms, their time is different. You, they're, there are five hours in, in, in the world, the real world outside of the quantum realm is five years and he was talking about maybe we can fix it before fix it before Thanos got the stone and they were discussing like there was the discussing um time travel and see if that helps um getting all the stones back before Thanos got it. So spoiler if you have see Avengers in game I'm gonna warn you now most of these I said so far are are in the movie but I'm not saying war by war what the what they said in, in the movie but this is my take and then so go watch Avengers in game now and come back so continue on is you see um, Tony walking out of his cabin and getting his daughter Morgan to eat lunch and then you get this nice cute moment with them and she was wearing a, a armor, armor, armor helmet which uh, is he explained that Tony explains to Morgan that this is a present for your mom, an anniversary present for your mom. And he was like, "Where did you find? Did you find it in the garage?" And she was like, "Yes." And where he was like, "Were you looking for it?" And she was like, "No, I found it." And then he was like, um, "Your mom does, mom doesn't wear whatever I make." And then, and then we see Cap, Nat, and S Scott Lane. Uh, Steve, Nat, and Scott talk to Tony. They're sc they're discussing the time travel situation where um, maybe we can go back in time to get the stones and fix everything. Then next. And they were they were discussing it, and like Tony was trying 
Dunning was dis was not into it, and then he was. Steve said, "Look, we need to find somebody to have a bigger brain." Then we get the intro introduction, introducing Professor Hulk in the restaurant scene, and they're in, in the restaurant and um, they're having a conversation about uh, time tra time travel and how Bruce and Hulk merged together as one to be Professor Hulk. And then we see three kids just want to take a picture with the Hulk and they get their picture and then and I was like, do you want to take a picture? Like Scott Lane was like, do you want to get a picture? I'm ant man. And they were like, nah, nah. And, and then we get to the time travel test one. Time travel test. Um, you, it was Professor Hulk, Steve Rogers, and Natasha, and Scott Lane. They're testing the time tr the time travel quantum realm thing. And then first time, first one it was Scott was a young boy. Second one it was a Scott was an older man in the future. And the third one was a uh, Scott was turned to a baby, and then because usually when you try to do these stuff, you gotta have you have to do tests multiple times before you get it right. And then uh, Scott was like when he came back when he got got them got him back, he was like, yeah. someone did someone pee? My suit was it baby, baby Scott or old me? Or ba was it baby me or old me? Or is it just me? And that was a nice, that was a that was a funny joke. And then we see Steve Roger outside the HQ and we get to see Tony coming in. Tony goes to Avengers HQ. Driving a Audi car, nice car. No, I think it was an Audi. And we get that uh, conversation of okay, he fi he fixed the the time the time tra the time travel um, band thing wristwatch band and. Um, Steve Rogers kids shield back from Tony and then we get to the taco scene uh, you see Scott laying outside eating tacos but then you see the Benatar coming in and it was the engines were powerful right those engines they're powerful and it blew the taco away you see uh, Nebula Nebula's like uh, ready you have an idiot. You have an idiot in the landing zone, and then rocket and war machine, and then we get to see. Uh, then rocket and Hulk goes to new at new Asgard to meet Fat Thor, and that part we get to see Valkyrie again. Um, she's basically doing importing fish or whatever and then Rocket and Hulk meet goes to the to his place where he's staying at to meet Fat to meet Thor and then you and we get to see, we see uh, Korg and Meek playing Fortnite and it was nice and like then we get to see then when we get we see Thor being he's fat Thor now, and um, get that nice interaction of, of saying hi. We haven't seen how long we haven't seen you in so long, and then he's then like Korg was saying talking to Thor is like, "Is that guy again? New Master is sixty nine." And he's in the game and it's like, and it's Thor, Thor is like, I'll fly over there, rip off your arm, and 
thick of your butt. And then, then Hulk and Thor is having a conversation. It's like, I need Thor, we need your help. We need you. And he was, he was like, he was, because he was depressed because he lost everything. He has lost his friends, his mom, his dad, his brother. He lost everything. He lost his whole Asgardian people. Most of most of his Asgardian people. And then he he agreed to come back. Then we get to Hawkeye Ronin scene. This scene was dark. I mean dark. This scene was dark. And you see, you fall like Ron, Hawkeye, aka Ron, is killing all these people in in Tokyo, and you the camera basically follows where he's going. He's following where he's he's going and starting killing people, and then you get the the Ronin versus the boss, like the master, and he was they are having this fight because. Ronan basically, once he turned Ronan, Ronan, he kills he 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 he's he assassinating everybody, and then basically he killed his master. He was and because Thanos wiped out his half of the world, and he's and he's and since he lost the family, nobody should live anymore. So he started killing people. And then you see Black Widow behind him. He was, he was, and you see Clint saying, "You shouldn't be here." And she said, "You shouldn't be here as two." And then we get back. We go back. We do time. Tra we do the test time travel with uh, Scott Lang and Clint. Scott goes first, and then they're discussing all these references of different time travel movies and and um, Scott was telling Hulk that but this is the lot this is the last pin particle we have um, because if, if we look and uh, Hulk was the uh, Hulk was explaining how if you come to the past and your you your present pe your present it's gonna stay there, in something like that. Something about I can't can't really explain how it it, it was, but something about future, the past and the future. Like you can't go, your future can't change something from the past because your past will come. Your past will be your future, and your future will be your past or whatever. Something like that. And then. Basically, Scott, when Scott did it, it was a waste of, waste test. But Clint decided to do it, and when Clint did it, he went back to his back in time, to his, where he lived, his home, um, and and it worked. Came back, it worked. So then, um, the Avengers start start making a plan. Okay. Since there's three stones in New York, the Mind Stone, the Space Stone, and the the Time Stone, and there's one in Asgard, the Ether. There's one in Volmir, the Soul Stone. There's one in Morag, the Power Stone. Power Stone. Uh. See three, three plus one is four, four. One. See, there's the power stone, the space stone, the time stone, the mind stone, the ether, power stone, space stone, mind stone. Um, power stone, mind stone, space stone, the ether, the power stone, 
the Tesseract? I don't know. What's the Tesseract called? Like, um, let's see, there's only six, seven. I don't know how many stones. Let's see. Power stone, space stone, mind stone. The ether and the power stone. Power stone. And there's three. There's three in New York. One in Asgard. There's one in Volmir. Three. Three plus one is four. Four plus one is five. There's one in Morag. And the six of any stones, I'm pretty sure that's right. So they basically plan three teams going. One team goes to New York, one team goes to Morag, one goes to Volmir, one goes to Asgard. So the way it works is that Cap, oops, Cap, Iron Man, Ant Man, Hulk are going to New York for the three, three Infinity Stones. Black Widow and Hawkeye is going to Volmir for the Soul Stone. The Thor and Rocket is going to Asgard for the Ether. And War Machine Nebula is going for it's going to uh, Morag for the Power Stone. Where and they had I, I like this part and the scene like uh, you see Cap having that uh, motivational prep talk of 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 like make sure you work together, make sure you there's no do overs. Basically, I got the quote right here. It says, Five years ago, we lost all of us. You lost friends. You lost families. We lost part of ourselves. Today, we have a chance to take it all back. You know your team. You know your mission. Get this down and get them back. One round trip each. No mis no mistake, no do overs. Most uh, most of us are going somewhere we know. That doesn't mean we know what to expect. Be careful. Look out for each other. This is the fight of your life, and we're going to win. Whatever it takes, good luck. So that was the, basically the most motivational prep talk. So then, once they like zoom, zip into the quantum round thing, then they go back in time. You, The first one, you see the event there in New York for the New York battle in Avengers 1. 2012 because that's and I like and the, and like how they started they once they come back you get the uh, panorama circles uh, sequence of they're circling circling around the Avengers and after that they pan to the left and you see where all the fut the pre the future of Avengers are right now they're they're on the side, and then, um, then you see old hulks just smashing things, and then you make it, and you see the uh, Professor Hulk, um, because remember, Bruce Banner, the old used to be that uh, that old Hulk. Now he's a Professor Hulk, and it's like now he's not angry anymore, and all that kind of stuff, and then. Then after that, the Cap and 
uh, Cap, Tony, and Scott is now going to the Avengers Tower. Then, bef just right before that, uh, they go to Asgard, where I like the intro to Asgard as well. And that's where Thor and Rocket is, and they're going to try to get the... Um, oh, the, the ether out of Jane's body, who was in the... When they were doing the plan, they were talking about it. And then... Uh, I and then... Just right after that, they go back to the Avengers. Uh, I think uh, New York Avengers in New York battle because they see that the end of the Avengers was going on, and then there was the I guess uh, they 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 base it was like a deleted scene maybe or something like that. Or a scene that was we never saw be, ever before, which that was true. We never saw this part of the scene. Um, you see Tony just walking in, and with S Scott Lang just hiding next to him, on, and he he walks out. He walks in, and he said, um, he was talking about Captain America's, um, but when he was from the first Avengers, how it was like he didn't have any, he, would, he didn't have a butt, he didn't, it didn't look like he has a butt or any, something like that. And then Scott Lane just said, uh, just uh, said that was America's ass. And then, then like, um, Okay, the old event, the Avengers are going to elevate. Uh, he basically, Scott Lane just like flicked me and he just, so Tony just flicks him into the case where they were storing the uh, Tesseract, the space stone. And, um, and then, I think it was before that that happened, but. Scott was telling him, um, they look like, um, Tony told him that, um, they were good guys, but they were actually Hydra agents, we, which we didn't know, know back then. Then they, Tony flicks, um, Scott Lane to the case where they put the Tesseract in. And then, you get a scene where, you see the Hydra agents, basically the eight, the eight good guys, and Tony and Thor, old Tony and Thor, and you see old Hulk. He was there like, um, max capacity, come in, take the stairs. Thor's like, take the stairs, and then old Hulk is like, take the stairs, take the stairs, and then, then um, you see, uh, Tony basically coming out then he was he was he's wearing his new uh Ar Iron Man suit in this one. It was like a it was a gold and red, like a pattern gold and red. Uh, then let's see here. Uh do, 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 do. um then we get the elevator scene from Civil War, which would kind of blends into this one. Because, and you see Cap, the, the, the present Cap, um, the Cap that was in, not the old Cap, but the new Cap, the future Cap. And you see all these agents, Hydra, Hydra agents, from Civil War, he was coming in, and then he was like, uh, because they're about to do that fight scene in the elevator, but he was like, he, he just whisper, hello Hydra, and he got the case, and then, then that leads into, um, 
I think it leads into uh, Asgard. We go back to Asgard, I think. Um, we get the nice interaction with Frigga and Thor and a nice conversation with them. And then we go then we go to uh Morag where you see um the four basically the War Machine Nebula Mac Widow and Hawkeye was riding with riding together and then they drop they drop war they drop off War Machine Nebula and Morag uh um no Black Widow, Hawkeye, and Volmir, and then Volmir and Nebula took off and go to Morag. And then that's when we go back to the... We go back to Avengers, to Avengers 1, and you see a new... This scene was new, new to me. I mean, it was... It was the day, there was before where, um, the ending of Avengers, right after the battle and the ending, where they're at Central Park, right before that. And then you see Tony dress up, dressing as a security shield agent, security agent, shield, for shield, and then... You see old Thor and old Tony walking with a case and they have security behind them. Then you see uh, the president of S.H.I.E.L.D. coming in and he was like, um, where are you guys headed? And, we're, and Thor is like, we're, I'm going to go back to Asgard, turning this, turning this in and taking and we're taking Loki to Asgard as well to face Odin. And, and um, the President Shield is like, no, we're, I'm going to take that and we'll take Loki as well. And then it, and it was getting heated. It was getting heated. And then Tony, Tony told, Tony is, Scott is in Tony's old, basically old, his, his old self. And he was like, he was like, is that Axe body spray? And he was like, yeah. I mean, and basically Scott, Tony told Scott to take out one of his uh, things from the arc reactor thing to do a, um, um, one of those cardiac things. Uh, those things that where you're about to, you can't breathe and all kind of stuff. You can't breathe. And I don't know what it's called, but that's what I'm talking about. So he can, so like, basically, when that happened, the, basically, you see Scott Ant-Man just kicking the case towards the towards Tony. And Tony picks it up. Right when Tony's about to get out of there, you see all Hulk just wipe him out he basically basically he tony he tony fell on the floor the case is open and then you see loki looking at it and he grabs it and he goes um and then after that you see future the future caverns in past cap and he was he was he then you get that that fight was awesome too cat versus cat Whoever thought we'll see that in in the MCU. Future Cat versus Past Cat and you, and then they start fighting and then Future Cap said uh Bucky is alive in to Past Cap so he can so he can get off him. Because remember, Bucky was his best you know, his best friend. From First Avengers, and he, because in First Avenger he thought Bucky was gone, and 
he says Bucky is alive and he start he punch him and use the mind stone to basically knock him out just to control him. That's and then we get back to Asgard and um we see um Frigga and Thor talking about his future his Thor's future and his life right now and how he's a he's he said that he's an idiot and Frigga's like you're not an idiot but you're a failure and Thor's like that's too harsh but he know Frigga said you know that what I mean that means he's that means she's telling him that um you're the same you're a pe you're like other people you're like uh, the same uh, same people as uh, uh, those people out in this world where you've you have to have you you should you sh you need to fail so you can learn from it then you can be successful successful in the future and then rocket sneaking up on Jane get the ether and then Thor gets Mjolnir back basically this he was he gets Mjolnir back uh, since even though he still has Thornbreaker he has Mjolnir as well in this one uh, then after that it goes to uh, they go to Morag in the intro to Guardian Galaxy 1 that's why it's, it's it's left off in the show in the showing. You see Star Lord just singing to that song, which is a good song. And then uh, War Machine was like, he's an idiot. And then he was like, yeah. And he War Machine just knock him out. And then, then they get the Power Stone. The way to get the they get the Power Stone, they go to the which War Machine call it the. Temple of the Power Stone, and he was like telling him, he was like, there will be booby traps, there will be spikes and mummies and all that kind of stuff. And she was like, whatever. She took it, and then once they know it's 2018, they're trying to fix it. And then, uh, and then they were like, they were, they were doing diagnostic on the th uh, Nebula of 2014, then. To see what's going on because basically the nebula from 2014 is actually the same one as 2019 because even though they're the different times they're the same one and then was, they were doing diagnostic and but before that he knew Gamora told nebula that um, he found that he found the another Infinity Stone in Morag, so that's where they're headed. And then after, just once they did the diagnostic, they were like, uh, it was like, let's get the, let's go to Morag. Let's find this other nebula and go to Morag. And then that's when, where that bad things happen. The 2019 nebula was having trouble to get back because that's when they did diagnostic, that's when that happened. And like the 2014 Thanos, they figure out he figured out what's going on in the present time, nine years into the future. And then the they got the they got Nebula now there, and um, base and then. The 2014 Nebula uh, just is in disguise as the present Nebula that the that the Avengers knew now, but isn't later. And he took it. They were about to go back. War Machine went back, but Nebula didn't because before then, then the present the the past then of 2014. Um, n knew what they're doing. Like they're take they're taking the stones from the. Then it takes us to uh, nineteen seventy. I think nine. Yeah, is it? I think it's nine. 
1970, then it's, then we go to, uh, Full Moon. But, yeah. 1970, New York, New York, Jersey. So, basically, since they, since Tony and Scott didn't get the, the Tesseract, in this one, they went back in time again, like several years, several years later, um, and and they went to 1970 military uh, this military camp thing in New Jersey, and that's when um, Tony gets to meet um, Howard Stark, but in disguise, he's his name is Howard Potts meeting house star and they had that nice road because like remember um his 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 father was his father and mother got killed got killed by the winter soldier in the past he knew it he didn't knew it until civil war and now he gets to talk to howard his father howard stark and then during that you see Steve Rogers getting the pin particles. So basically, Steve Rogers calling uh, Mike uh, Hank Pym to, hey, we had some situation. Somebody's opened the box and they're not feeling well. And then he sneaks in. He sees the pin particle, takes four of them. Then there's the lady. Um, there's another cameo. You see, okay, then before this happens, you see the Stan Lee cameo as well. Um, but then, let's go back. Then we see that lady uh, who was, uh, she was famous. She's famous. I, I can't remember her name. But she got a cameo too. And then you see Caps in, the, in his office. And he sees a picture of his younger self. Then later, just right, just just a little bit right after that, you see Peggy Carter on the other side of the window, which is a nice moment. Um, let's see. Da -da -da. Mm, thing. Okay, Thor and Rocket. If we talk about that. Thor and Frigga. Talk about that. I might mix up the the timeline just a little bit, but. And then, uh, okay, but, uh, okay, and more Thor Hammer, more Thanos, uh, Tad, 14 Nails, and Avengers Plane. Okay, and um, maybe I split this. Okay. Then we go to Volmir, the Volmir scene with Black Widow and Hawkeye, and then. Basically, to sum that up, you see Red Skull, and he does that phrase, for a soul, for for a soul, to get the soul, so you need to sacrifice the one you love, the soul for a soul, basically. And then, you see Black Will fighting with Black Guy, trying to figure out, because both of them doesn't want to sacrifice themselves. But one of them has to, to get the soul stone, to bring the people back, you have to sacrifice them. So, basically, Black Widow sacrificed herself, she she dies, and Hawkeye is hurt with that. And then, you see, once they come back, you, you stay like, okay, is everybody here? And then, you see Hawkeye, you see Clint just falling down his knees, and then they were like, and I think Bruce said, where's Nat? And he just falls down on his knee. And then everybody was upset. Then we get the core Avengers, like Iron Man, Cap, Thor, Hawkeye, Bruce. And they were uh, at the cabin where Tony lives. The sad of the anger. Um... Tony asked, did she have any family? And Cap said, Steve Rogers said, um, yes, it was us. And then Thor comes in and he's like, what, what are you asking? What are you doing? And Tony said, I'm just asking a question. And he's like, um, 
just he was like, don't th just don't think that Black Widow is dead. We have the soul stone, right? We can bring her back. And then Clint said, it can't be undone. And then he has his he was mad. He was like, Thor, go get yeah, go get your hammer and talk to the red um, ghost guy, uh, Red Skull, and do it. Okay. And then it was like, cause she was like, that hurt. That hurt. I cried. I cried in that scene. Uh, we'll talk about where which scene I cried. And then after that, they built the gauntlet the from ten, Tony uh, Tony Stark's. Um, nanotech uh, technology armor and then you see once and then you see Thor volunteering to where the gauntlet and snap it but Eric was like no you can't do it you're not in this condition and then he was like let me do something good and then um, lightning and he was like I have lightning but Bruce said Professor Hulk said no, Lightning won't do it. And he was like, I will do it. The professional was like, I will do it. Um, since even though it's gamma gamma radiation, I can handle it. And he snaps. And then during that time, during when he snaps, you see the 2014 nebula disguised as the 2019 nebula. Basically, turning on the time travel quantum realm thing machine and then you see Daniels is ship small but then it comes out large and he they shoot basically shoots out into the out the building and then once that Daniels is Daniels is destroying the Avengers HQ um now everything is destroyed the whole every the whole yeah, basically you can call it like a campus thing, campus of the Avengers, and every building is gone. Then it goes to the Thor Cap Iron Man versus Thanos. That was that fight scene was awesome. Three on three, three on one, and before that you see uh, Thor just basically his eyes were lightning, and he was. He got. He was just reaching out for Stormbreaker, reaching out for Molnir, and his braids, his hair, his beard braided together. It was awesome, and they were. Then they start fighting, and then you see, then just before Cat versus Thanos, you see Thor versus Thanos, and somehow when Thor Thor called Stormbreaker, and Thanos grabs it, and he was about to kill him. This, that thing went through his chest and then you see Monir calling in and he's hitting then he goes and hits Thanos and he comes back and you see Cap holding his shield and Monir Monir on his right hand and shield on his left hand and then he started fighting with Thanos which was awesome too then just to sum up that part um Daniels basically broke his cap shield after that, after the cap versus Daniels. And then you see Cap on the ground going up, about to stand up. And he's, and once he does it, he's tightened that, his, tightened the, sh the band that connects his shield together. His shield to his, he tightened it up and you see Cap facing the whole army of Dan Daniels' army. You see the Jatari, you see the Black Order, you see the Wild Dogs thing, Wild Dogs and other stuff. And then once you, you hear Cap, Cap, this is it's Sam. Can you read me? And you say, Cap. Sam, over. He he does he because Cap doesn't doesn't know who it is because uh, it could be he thought it could be anybody and then he's like Sam is like on your left and then 
you see this portal coming out over here. And the song to this part, this scene was amazing. It was epic. One of the most epic scene ever. And you, you see Black Panther, Sherry, and Okoye walking out. And then you see more Avengers, more Avengers, and more Avengers coming out. And then, then you see, when Cap said, Avengers! And then he calls Monir, and he's like, a symbol. And like, Thor is like, Thor screams first, thank Black Widow. And they go, and that was awesome. And the Avengers theme song goes on, and it's awesome. And then you get to the Tony and Pepper fighting back to back, which is was was epic. Um, they're a good duo. And then you get the Peter Parker Tony really re reuniting together, and Peter Parker explained what happened in the previous. And there was like Dark Strange. So I was like, it's five years now. We need help, Tony. We need help, Iron Man. And then they Tony started hugging Peter Parker because he missed him. Remember in the remember when oh I for, I missed something okay so when uh okay when okay after the first time travel test he goes you see Tony washing the dishes and he grabs he basically after that he grabs a picture of him and Peter Parker during the internship thing. And he, that's when he misses him. And then after that, he was fixing, he was trying to figure out the time travel thing. And then he was, and you get that nice daughter, Morgan, Morgan Stark, Morgan Stark and Tony Stark together. And then you get that nice moment. And it was a, hey, it was a, it was a cute, it was a cute moment, I would say. And then you see Pepper Pot talking to Tony about, um, when can you rest? Tony said, I can put a pin right now. But Pepper's like, for so long I've been trying to make, try and get you to rest. And that, that, that's a, that will lead into this, this in, in a little bit. And then that's when the Peter Parker and Tony relationship comes again. He, they hug together. And then, um, then after that, um, you get the, uh, Star-Lord and Gamora, which the Gamora in 2014 doesn't know the Star-Lord in 2019. Uh, and then, and then you get the, uh, Scarlet, Scarlet Witch versus Thanos, which was awesome. Scarlet Witch looks so powerful in this movie. Just... Basically knocking his double sword weapon out of his hand, which was so freaking scary. That double sword thing, man, that was scary. Like it was freaking sharp. Like when he wipes it off in one of the scenes in in the movie, it, you can hear it. It's like sharp. And then, uh. Okay, so then, and then, um, you see Cat, uh, Hawkeye telling Cap, what, 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 what should I do with this thing? And he was like, give a, get, get away as possible. And, and Professor Hall was like, no, we need to go turn it back. And then that's when Tony, Tony tells Scott to, and basically, Scott said, we have another time machine. It's the van, Luis's van from Ant-Man. And basically, they were like, how long will it take you to do that? Like, maybe 10 minutes or so? And they start, and then you see Wasp and Ant-Man going together um, into the van, trying to figure it out. And then, uh, then, Basically, uh, Hawkeye passed the gauntlet to Black Panther, and Black Panther passed the gauntlet to Spider-Man, and then that's when, uh, 
You stand that when uh, you see Captain Marvel intro introduction into the battle. Um, basically, when uh, Scarlet Witch was basically about to beat Thanos up, and Thanos was like, shoot, shoot down, shoot the weapons down, shoot all it down, even though we have your armies still down there on the ground. Yet you you'll kill them anyway, but we need to win this thing. And then, that's when, and then they, so we see Peter Parker just holding it tight, like cut, like holding it tight so that nobody takes it. And then you see Daniel's spaceship, they're, they're shooting at the sky. And that's when you see Captain Marvel coming in hot, Cap Captain Marvel coming in hot and destroying Daniel's ship. And, and then that's when okay, and that's when uh, Cap said, um, "Danvers, we need assistance here." And that's when Cap Captain Marvel comes in and saying, and Peter Parker say, "Hi, I'm Peter Parker." And was, she was like, "Hey, Peter Parker, you have something for me?" And that's when she gets the gauntlet. And then you see the female Avengers. You see. Rescue, um, which was, remember when I talk about the, um, when uh, Tony was asking Lauren to eat lunch and she was wearing the uh, part of the rescue suit. She was wearing the helmet. Rescue, Valkyrie, Okoye, Shuri, Scarlet Witch, the, uh, the Wasp. And Gamora and Mantis and Nebula. Basically, they were doing that for Black Black Widow since she was like, uh, they were like, uh, don't worry, she we got this, and that's that's because that's for Black Widow because Black Black Widow was the most important that she was the like the OG female Avengers. She's been working. Her so hard to pass a uh, past 11 years and then they're doing she was like they were like uh, don't worry we got this that is for her and then you see them fight you see the son of Daniel's army coming at it and you see they're going at it and then that's when when uh, Captain Marvel passes Thanos, and Thanos realizes that she's going to have in. He throws the double sword and into the van and destroys it. And then that's when uh, Thanos gets the gun, about to get the gauntlet. T Tony basically shoved it aside, and basically Thanos just smack him out, out of the way. Get the gun, uh, get the gauntlet, but. Try to get the gauntlet, but Thor and Cap comes in. They're fighting. Basically, they're fighting, trying to stop, get stop it, and then they that didn't work. So he gets the he he gets the gauntlet, but Cap and Marvel just came in, came in time, started punching Thanos, and then after that, Thanos gets the gauntlet, gets the gauntlet, about to snap it, snap it, and Captain Marvel comes back, holds the gauntlet. And then, even since she's powerful, the Dan, the uh, powerful, Daniels was trying. He tried. He tried like basically everything. He he tried to headbutt her, even though and it didn't even work. So basically, he took the power stone and basically had to use it and knock her out because she, Daniels was about to get beat by Captain Marvel, and then. You see, then um, Doctor Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange was doing some other stuff. He was doing some stuff with the water during this battle, and then Doctor Strange shows the one, and then Iron Man comes in. He trying to get the gauntlet off. He trying to get the gauntlet off. Then, oh, uh, then when Thanos tries, Thanos snap. It didn't work because he looks and he sees all the stones are gone, and then. You see Iron Man just 
just doing this and the thing comes up and you see all the stones in stones on his armor. And he's like he was like he was so tired, he was like, I am. Right, he snaps it and then all his all Thanos' armies are gone. We don't know if Gamora the fourteen version is gone, but all we know is Thanos' armies are all gone. And then then once we get back to once we see, see Tony again, his face was decayed. He was like his left was it his left side, so it's like well, this side was this side. Basically, I don't know. His left side of his face was decay. I mean, his, it was bleeding. It was like nasty. And then you get, you see War Machine coming in saying, well, he was just like, okay. He was like, thank you. You did what you did. And then he steps aside. Then you see Peter Parker coming in. He was emotional. Remember in Infinity War, Penny Parker was telling Tony that he doesn't want to go, he doesn't want to go, and he, was, and he got dusted. And this time, you get emotional that his mentor, his uh, mentor, Tony Stark, Iron Man, he, he, he died because he helped save, he saved the world. And then you see Pepper Potts coming in, and she was... Telling Friday, about Friday do something I can't remember, and then she, uh, he was, she was like, uh, "Look at me, we'll be okay. You can rest now." And that's one. That's one of the part where I cry as well. And then you see, Cap and Thor, looking at him. They're crying. They're like crying as well. They're emotional. And then every, then after that, the scene takes into every, everybody. The world's back to normal now. Everything's good. But the but the but lastly is the the funeral. You get the video montage like of Tony Stark talking about it, talking to Morgan Stark, Happy Hogan, Pepper Potts, Brody. Cap and Thor, and he's thing he talk he talks about like this is the end. This is like and he says after at the end he says, "I, I love you thirty thousand because remember Morgan Stark said I love you three thousand right before he went to she went to bed, and then then once they walk out you see all these other Avengers, you see Captain Marvel, you see Mar Maria, you see Shield Agent like Maria Hill and Nick Fury, you see Hawkeye's family, you see Clint Barton, like Hawkeye's family, you see um, Spider-Man and Aunt May, you see uh, Doctor Strange and, and Wong as well and some uh, and other heroes. And paying the respect to the guy who started it all, Tony Stark Iron Man. He, that music was so sad from the start where he died, where the where he died, to the funeral was so sad. It was an emotional song. It was not a song, but it was a music, like music. And then, um. We get to where Captain America is going back, we putting all the stones back in the Mjolnir back to Asgard. And then once he comes back, once he comes back, um, Sam and Sam was wondering, where is he? Where is he? Then you see Bucky looking looking straight at it. He's like, Sam. And then he walks. He they, they Sam walks up, and you see Captain America as an old man now. Since since uh, he basically his pre his 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 the present cat that was in, that was in this whole movie 
stayed back in into the past 1945 with Peggy. And we'll talk about that in a few minutes. And then basically Cap, the old Cap, basically passed over the shield to Falcon to be the next Captain America, which was nice. Nice moment talking. And then you hear that music going on and you see Steve Rogers and Peggy Carter dancing together their last their their last basically dance and then it leads into the in the credits and the credit of the music was awesome once they show the the actors or the char all the characters that they play it was awesome and like the OG OG6 Avengers, that the theme song, the Avengers theme song, that was, well, it was called, it was, the title of it was, it was called something else, but you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, that's my spoiler review. I mean, I probably like mix something up, especially the, the, uh, Especially the 1970, the when they went back to 1970, with, and I put basically I put Thor and Rocket, and Thor and Frigga scene right before that happened, but and then Thor Hammer and then Morag. So the Morag and the Asgardian, uh, Morag and the Asgard and the 1917 scene, I mixed, I probably mixed it up, I but I fixed it. Uh, I should have fixed it already during this review. And the Thanos things that he knows, and then after that, it went smooth. So, the, my mo the emotional scene was Clint family getting dusted. Um, uh, let's see here. Um, Clint's family getting dusted. Black Widow sacrificed herself. In Volmir. Iron Man's death, the funeral scene, the 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 core Avengers when the core Avenger was together and they were sad and anger about their loss. And Howard Potts and Howard Stark. Um Mm, there's probably others as well, but yeah, that's my, this is my spoiler review. I mean, it's, it's not going to be, my spoiler review is probably not going to be great. I mean, most of it, I time I got it perfectly until probably when they went to time travel. Because time travel is like, it's kind of confusing to talk about, as you know. And then after that, it was pretty good. So, if you haven't watched, oh. So, yeah, I watch Avengers Endgame. I mean, do it now. Um, now you can talk about spoilers since the ban is lifted this past Monday. Um, hope you guys have a great time watching Avengers Endgame. I mean, I really, really like this movie. Um, I know other people has a other their other opinion, but man, just reading those reviews really hurts. I mean, the good ones, I'm happy with, but the bad ones, the the not so good ones that are reviews, I don't know what's going on with them. Like, or maybe they're they they like MCU and they never watch MCU before movies or something else. But go check it out. Um, it's gonna be here. It's gonna be in theaters for so many months, like April, May, June, probably July, maybe, probably July as well. Um, uh, if you haven't checked my other new video, my Spider-Man Far From Home official trailer reaction, go check that out, and my MCU movie rankings as well. So check that out as well, and my other ones. That have my reaction of my Avengers pre Avengers um, in game and post Avengers. 
they're to they're together as well. So hope you guys have a great day. Um, I know this is long, so hope you guys have a great day. See you guys next time.